Hi friends, thanks for joining me today for our art project. Today we are going to make an ocean coral um, scene. And what you're going to need here, you can see it laid out. You're going to need a blue piece of paper and a brown piece of paper. And I'm just using construction paper, but you could use cardstock or any kind of paper that has a little bit of weight or thickness to it. Um, you're also going to need a pencil, some scissors, a glue stick, and a straw. Now I've taken a large straw and cut it in half. You're going to need some water, and I've just got some here in a cup, and you're going to need a spoon or maybe even a smaller teaspoon, and then you're going to need some paint. Now I have just a little bit of paint here, and I'm using a palette. What you can do is if you don't have a palette at home, you can just use some little bowls or little cups. And as you can see, you don't need a whole lot of paint, just a little bit. And with that, we're gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to do is you're gonna take your brown piece of paper and we're going to use this for the, the sand that's at the bottom of our ocean. And of course our blue is going to be our ocean or our water. So what I want you to do is take your brown paper and take your pencil and you're going to draw a wavy line from one side of your brown paper to the other side and you want to make sure that you're using the same side as your blue paper so that it's the same width the right length and again you're just going to go maybe about an inch or an inch and a half up from the bottom and you're going to draw your wavy line and I know that's a little hard for you to see, so I'm going to bring it closer here. Maybe you can kind of see what I did there. And then after you get that drawn, you are going to use your scissors and you're going to cut on that wavy line. And again, that's going to be your sand at the bottom of your ocean. And then we're finished with the scissors, so you can put that off to the side. And then your extra paper, you can save it for another project. So after you get your uh, sand cut out, it should look similar to this. Now you're going to use your glue stick, and you're going to grab your blue piece of paper. And we're just going to glue our sand down to the bottom of our water there, our blue paper. So I'm just going to put some glue all over the back. And make sure you get all the sides and all the edges covered in glue. And then we're going to flip it back over and glue it down onto our paper. Just like that. And there's your sand is done. Make sure to put the lid on the back of your glue because you don't want it to dry out. All right, I'm just going to move this up out of the way for, for a few minutes. Um, I want you to get your paint, whether you have it in your palette or you have it in some little cups or bowls. And what we're going to do is here in a moment, we are going to use a straw to blow our paint across our paper and to make it look like the coral that, that grows in the ocean. Um, but before we do that, our paint's kind of thick right now, so we need to water it down a little bit. So that's what our water and our spoon is for. And I'm just going to get some water on that spoon and just drop a little bit of water on each of those colors like that. And we're just going to water it down enough that it just makes the paint flow a little easier on our paper as we blow it across our paper. And what you might need to do now is take your straw or you could take your spoon. I think I'll do that instead. Take your spoon and kind of swish it around gently in your paint and water. And I'm going to do that for all of my colors, but I'm going to wipe my spoon off between each one. That's something else you'll want to have handy that I forgot to mention was have like a paper towel handy so that you can wipe your spoon off. Or if you get a little messy and you need to clean something up, you'll have it handy. 
And you can use any colors that you want. I like lots of bright colors and things. So I'm, I've got some orange and yellow, some red, I've got some purple and green, and even some kind of a dark pink. But you use whatever you have at home. Now I'm using some craft paint, but you can use watercolors if you already have those at home, or you can use some regular um, um, paint that you might have, maybe some finger paint or some uh, water-based paint that you have at home, whatever's handy. And then once you get all those mixed together, now comes the really fun part. And let's just move that out of the way. We don't need it anymore. And I'm gonna set my paint off to the side, pull my picture just a little closer to myself. And now you're gonna take your straw and you're going to dip it in one of your paint colors. I think I'm going to start with my pink here and just drop some of that onto your paper. Have a little dot there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put your straw by that paint that you dropped on there and you're going to blow gently through the other end and you want the angle to be kind of low. You don't want it to be up above your picture like this because then it's gonna splatter all over the place. So let's kind of get low and then you just blow right across the page of the paint. Just like that. And you see you have some paint that's kind of pooling in places. You can move your straw closer to that section and then just blow gently again. And now you have a coral. Let's do another one. I'm going to pick a different color and I'm gonna wipe my straw off here before I dip it in another color. Hmm, what color do you think we should try this time? How about green? Let's do some green. Let's drop some green paint on our page. And I might drop a little bit more this time. And again, you're going to make your angle low and you're just gonna blow gently through your straw. And each time, each of your cor corals is going to look a little different. Got some green paint right there, so I think I'm gonna drop a little bit more on there. Maybe make another small coral right here. Let's do red this time. Drop some red right here. I think I'm going to add a lot of red. And then again, you're going to get down low on your page. And you might have to move your paper a little bit closer to you. That is a large coral. And I'm gonna do one more color. Uh, let's try about purple. Put some purple paint on our page. All right, here we go one last time. And you also notice that sometimes your colors will kind of cross each other and they'll kind of blend together and mix a little bit and that's okay.